Okay, here's about the sixth time making this video. I have to keep playing referee with the kids, and they're not going to like it if I've got to do it again. So hopefully we can make it through this this time. So anyways, over the weekend, I spent a bunch of time kind of putting this together. This is my Amazon spreadsheet that formats everything to do uh, uploads on Amazon. So it's minus three lines, about 285 products. They're variations of size and colors for Amazon. What I've done, I've gone and added the, uh, the dark colors. Um, basically, I can change my colors and prices right in here. So originally, I've, I put my first listing up kind of doing this with the dark colors yesterday, and that was, or Saturday, that was with this uh, Happy April Easter Fool's Day design. Now, my problem with this is after I made it and I uploaded it, I noticed that I had put the white ink version on here. Um, so I put the white ink version on here, and the white ink version... Um, it made me realize I had contemplated not not doing a noticing somewhere when my when my neighbor made this for me I had him put a little bit of a filter on it um, and I notice it makes the image so the image isn't crisp uh, the, 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 the graphic overlaying the t-shirt isn't crisp. And I wonder if that's having, uh, an influence on my sales. So I may want to go and have them just take that out. Uh, but anyways, that was just going through my mind as I was looking through that. But anyways, as I look at this and I think, well, you know, one of the things I was, so all these light colored shirts, the light blue, the gray, the pink, the green, the yellow, the white, uh, not including, the white in it um and um that would make it so that uh i didn't have to use the white ink and keep my cost down um and then obviously on the darker shirts including it the black the red the navy blue um so uh, what I have to do, I've got to just make a decision because if I'm going to do it the other way, I've got to actually increase the cost of my items. So these these prices have to go up. Um, now I have I have on these new ones started raising the prices. Um, in general, if I was even going to do light shirts, because I it seems as though more people are selling shirts for more. Um, it seems like all the costs seem to be going up. Uh, I, this price also, I think, makes it competitive with what most of the merch by Amazon items are selling for. Um, in the seventeen ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine price range, um, kind of puts it right in the middle of that. So there's the possibility of me making more profit, but in addition to that, my costs are going up. My DTG costs. Are, are significantly more when I when I have to print a white underbase and pre-treat the shirt. So, uh, so if I'm going to do that on all of these, I've got to raise the price. Now, if I was to stop and I was to think about it across the board, when I print just color on clear and black on a light colored shirt. Excuse me, a little bit of a yawn there. I, I'm just, you know, I wonder if the quality and everything would be much better if I just printed the white on everything, with the exception of white shirts. Um, and that may be the case, and it may be uh, the thing that I ought to do. Um, and so, I, I don't know, I may just go ahead and start doing that, and then I need to swap out all of my shirts so that I'm pushing uh, ring spun shirts on all those adult shirts because the ring spun shirts tend to work better with the white DTG printing. So um, anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at. So on the spreadsheet, I can put in the information one time, all of my pricing, my variations and colors, um, 
all of my stock number variations based on the type of shirt that it is, some description information. It'll fill it all out for Amazon above, all out for Wish below. Then I can put it in a separate spreadsheet and save it. And then I put all of my uh, images in a certain location and those sites go and harvest the images uh, for my image location and then my listings up now that's basically what happened here uh, and Amazon snagged all of the images and it shows up so uh, and then the reason why that goes up to 2099 is those are my 2xl shirts obviously those run a little bit more uh, but in general on just one of these shirts, it should be just the sixteen ninety nine plus freight. Um, in this case, it needs to bump up to the eighteen ninety nine if I'm going to print the white ink on it. Um, now, but yeah, that I'll tell you, do another thing about that in a minute. But so, anyways, so there you go. That's kind of what I've been doing over the weekend. I may go ahead and add Etsy to this as well, so I can do Etsy at the same time. Um, and then I also worked on trying to simplify getting these put on some of the social media sites as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. So, all right. Thank you. Bye bye.